This is how I would learn AI in 2024 if I had to start all over again. But what is AI? What are we actually learning? Because it's so generally mentioned nowadays that it's super hard to find a clear definition. So let's try one. It's a dynamic and evolving field. This is what we know, right? And it combines software development, data science, and AI technologies. And when I'm talking about AI technologies, I'm talking about large language models, multimodal models, and so on. As an AI engineer, you're gonna use your programming skills together with AI tools in order to enhance and develop new AI systems and applications. Let's be clear, right? There's a more technical aspect of AI that you're gonna need to master if you not just want to leverage existing AI tools and models, but you want to create them. That requires a deeper understanding of multiple things. First, statistics. Second, machine learning. And third, deep learning. And there are multiple topics that you need to learn about, such as GANs and transformers, but this path would take a lot more time for you to get started, and you might not want to be a machine learning engineer. You might just want to fast track your AI career. Now, with the levels of abstraction that we have, we can create a career by simply leveraging existing cloud services and existing APIs. Now you can actually create a career by just creating and chaining prompts together so things went a lot less technical than when I got started. With these things in mind, the first step is learning Python. And this is your go-to language for AI and machine learning and getting comfortable with it is key. And here you need to specifically focus on two things. And the first one is working with APIs. You're gonna be doing this constantly throughout your career as you build more projects. Now let's see why, right? Because an API allows different software to communicate with each other. For example, the way we interact with GPT-4 is through OpenAI's API, more specifically with API calls to specific methods. Secondly, as you realize these APIs API interactions can be done through Python packages, you realize how important working with Python libraries actually is. So you should be also learning how to work with the most popular Python packages. These are requests, NumPy, Pandas, but not just these. You're going to need to work with specific AI related libraries such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, Langchain, and Hugging Face libraries such as Transformers. Every technical and non-technical person will eventually need to start working with maybe not TensorFlow or PyTorch extensively, but you're going to use Langchain and Transformers a lot. And you're going to touch on PyTorch here and there. But believe me, Langchain and Transformers are not that big of a deal to learn. So this Python learning step opens up a whole new world of opportunities to build your AI skills further. If you get here, believe me, you're already way ahead of 95% of the people that want to get into AI. All you have to do now is start working on projects. And this is the best way to get that knowledge in and start believing in yourself. You could start, for example, with a simple chatbot where you just use the OpenAI API. And you can use Gradio as a front end for that. Literally, you can ask ChatGPT to do this and it's going to create the full working code for you. You can start directly to do that, right? But if you don't have any programming fundamentals, you're just going to execute things without understanding them. And this example project is simple enough to get you working and feeling comfortable, but it's up to you to choose more complex projects where you can actually use, for example, Langchain as well, you know, to chain some prompts together and then get more complexity in. I think learning AI in 2024 can be simply reduced to having a solid Python foundation that you can build on. Because regardless of whether you're considering yourself technical or not, an intermediate knowledge of Python is crucial in order to start interacting with the existing tools and the existing libraries that already do all the heavy lifting for you. And you cannot just rely on ChatGPT to create the full working Python code for you, because even if it's working, you have no idea why. You need to understand control statements, you need to understand functions, you need to understand how to handle files, you need to understand object-oriented programming, classes, objects, and inheritance. Because understanding how to model objects in your code is going to make it a lot easier for you to build AI applications. It's a lot easier to get started nowadays, and a great resource for this, which is of course amongst many others, is the Python for Everybody Specialization on Coursera. And this is a set of five courses that begin with a beginner level introduction to programming in Python, and gradually you're going to build yourself up to more more advanced topics. You're going to need to start somewhere. And you can choose, of course, any other resource. But at this stage, getting started with Python is easier than ever. Let me know where you're at on your AI journey. Comment below and let me know if you think of a better way to get started with AI in 2024. And this is part one and this is the most important to start with because it's going to take the longest. But in the next video, I'm going to cover the next stage in your AI journey. So hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.